everybody, just a bit of an Eldar painting update. I don't have anything finished to show today, but I'm in the warp painting my warp spiders. <laughs> I actually have ten of these guys because I have two Exarchs, um, but essentially um, I'm for you know doing them Bealton style, but really not that far from what a warp spider looks like because it's primarily black with the white head. But then I wanted to add a little bit of an effect on the back. Um, I'm likely to be putting a decal there too, but that was sort of my interpretation to make them be on, is to give them that, that sort of glowing back, um, going fading out into bright green. I've got green on the kneecaps and the various appendages that they have holding the death spinner. Um, and... I did just sort of a really quick fade on the gun, not like a really... I didn't spend a lot of time doing a wet blend, like a serious wet blend, because each, each one of these guys I have 10 has six little panels on their gun, and I wasn't going to do 60 wet blends to, you know, kind of do what I would do on a power sword, so it's sort of like a three-stage with a glaze over it um, on the gun. I think it came out okay. It shows like sort of a gradation of... gradation? Gradation. <laughs> <laughs> of um, color uh, from light to dark. Um, still have a lot to do on these guys. I haven't done any of the gems. I have a lot of detail work to do. I haven't done the base. But that's sort of the way they're going to look. I like it. I think normally when I look at these guys, you're kind of looking at them when they're like above them because they're so, they're so top heavy. And so that's kind of what it looked like. And I think it looks kind of cool. Um, so I'm. Not, despite having to still do some detail work and things, I don't expect that I'll be spending too much more time on these guys. And so what I am going to be doing is working on this guy next. And so I've opened the box and I was just, it was a little daunting, like the th three big screws of stuff. Granted, I think a lot of it's probably weapons and things, but I was like, oh my gosh, where do I begin? Because I have an idea of what I want to do for, for like my Bealton look. Um, for the Wraith Knight, and like I've told some of you, I'm going to be putting an Orc War Boss at, on the base too, dead, and so it's going to be a bit of work on that one, so I'm actually still on vacation, but I, I, I'm back from a week of being away, and now I'm just sort of hanging around the house and just taking care of odds and ends, and so it gives me a bit of painting time this week, so I'm hoping to have some progress. These guys finished up and some progress on the Wraith Knight this week, so... So that's it for my Eldar painting update. I can't think of anything else um, other than I've got a lot of stuff to paint. <laughs> I actually have all the things that I've told you, but I went on vacation. I stopped at a Games Workshop store because I was in another city. And I ended up just picking up stuff just because I wanted to just do stuff Warhammer related. <laughs> Even though I had no opportunity to play uh, or paint. And so I picked up... Um, a piece of terrain. I, I, I think um, it's called the Sanctum Imperialis, I think is the name of it. Um, I just thought it looked really cool and I, I wanted to, even though I'm making my own terrain, I wanted to paint a piece of GW terrain because I thought it was really cool looking. I picked up six <laughs> Eldar jet bikes because I don't have any and so I've got Eldar jet bikes coming up in the near future um, and I think that's all I really picked up but it was actually a fair bit of money <laughs> having said that <laughs> um, and so yeah so that's kind of what's going on with me um, hope you guys are doing well and take care